What's up everybody? On today's menu, literally one of the favorite dishes I cook. It is Spanish uh, chicken thighs with chorizo, and they also toss in rosemary and lemon, and that's, but it's just, it's the Spanish chicken thigh chorizo dish I always talk about. And Nick, you might ask me, how good is this? How good is this? This meal is so good that when I first started making it, I then went out and bought this extremely in overly sized, large, it's just absurd cast iron skillet. So I can make all eight chicken thighs at once. First, we're gonna chop up an onion. Now you might say, Greg, you hate onions. I do. But this recipe from Rachel Ray every day, again, the Bible, written by the Messiah of cooking, Rachel Ray. Uh, it calls for it and it's one of those, you know, who am I to go against Rachel Ray on this one? Am I anybody to go against her, Nick? No. Nah. I'm nobody, I'm nothing. Compared to her, you're like on, on the level of pond scum. I am pond scum to Rachel Ray. That is a great point, Nick. Thank you for bringing that up. I hope she knows that. She has no idea who you are. She, after this, she will though. I think everybody's gonna tweet at her, hey Rachel Ray, Greg's just, literally, Greg is making a YouTube show and monetizing it, just stealing your recipes. I think she'll, I think her and her lawyers will know about this show soon though. All right, the next ingredient we gotta chop up and get ready is these guys, these, uh, these uh, piquillo peppers. I've, I never heard of them before this recipe, and now I only use them in this recipe. You, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use half the jar, because I need about seven ounces of them, this is a 14 ounce jar. What you do is you come over here, I'm gonna use my little strainer. Uh, it's not, you know, you don't have to, you see it, Nick? I mean, I'm straining some peppers, right? It's not the, people understand what's happening. So through the magic of this thing, that goes in there, and then I just do this. And, oh, that one got away from me. Look, it looks like Gene Simmons' tongue, Nick. What I like about cooking, Nick, is just the assembly of it all. You know what I mean? I'm just here, doing all this different stuff. Getting it done the way it's meant to be. Um, breaking out rosemary right now, some fresh rosemary. It calls for four sprigs. I'm gonna rinse them real quick because I don't want any of the sprig bugs or ghosts. Sometimes ghosts get caught on sprigs and I won't have that happening to me. That's what I'm doing here, of course. Stripping the leaves off. And then I'll chop them up and be real good. What I like about rosemary is that it kind of looks like the branches of a Christmas tree. So it's kind of like you're fighting Christmas. You're killing it right here. You know what I mean? Just going in there, just tearing it apart. Do you ever want to eat a Christmas tree? I don't know if I ever want to eat a Christmas tree. I, want, I, want, I love the smell of a Christmas tree. Because rosemary always reminded me of a Christmas tree, which makes me want to eat the Christmas tree. Okay, okay. Is that weird? No. Am no. I a weird human being for saying that? No, no, of course. There's, this is a tree of trust here. There's no weirdness. We're all just friends cooking food together. Now here, we're, this is my other attempt at this. You've seen me before. Maybe, depending on when the show posts. Once I did this, and smashed perfectly, and I got all the heads of garlic. Another time I did it, nothing happened. I looked like a complete moron. Let's see what we can get this time. Let's see, oh, we got it good. Got it good. Need four. It says four, but as you know, Nick, Rach can't be trusted on the garlic front. Now, when I say Rach, do you think of Rachel Ray a lot, or do you think of Rachel from Friends? I think of Rachel from um, Bat in the Dark Knight. Oh, wow. Rachel! Hey, uh, swear to me. Uh, we're gonna need a cup of white wine. Again, getting ahead of myself. These steps won't come into play for quite some time, but I want it all laid out, Nick. I want to figure out. You ever use the parsley, Nick? No. What? It tastes horrible. What? Well, it's a, you know, it, well, in a dish like this, though, where I'm piling it all together with different things and different flavor profiles, you gotta have it. I always get parsley confused with cilantro. Not they a look huge a lot cilantro of like... fan. Just stay away from all of them. Okay, two of, I understand that. You don't wanna get yourself in a tricky situation. Not sure which one's which, to be honest. Good call. Not trying to fuck with that. It's a good point. I understand what you're saying there. I'm gonna zest this guy. If I'm being honest about cooking, Nick, I hate zesting stuff. It's like a lot of work for a little, little, you know, a little reward. Just trying to get this powdery rind off there, you know? That'll be plenty. Hey, and for good measure, for your uncle. You know, you know. Cool. We're gonna juice this guy later, but he's not needed right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Sound good, Nick? Yep. I'm gonna chop up these guys. These over here, these sweet cherry peppers. Uh, the recipe always calls for hot pickled cherry peppers. I can't find hot ones in any store in San Francisco. So I use these sweet ones every time. It's phenomenal. Nobody notices, nobody cares. Again, 
a late game garnishy item here. But I, I like just getting it all done. Because if you get it all done right now, you can kick back, you have a few laughs, you don't have to worry about nothing. You save all this stuff for the very end. You're panicking, things are going bad, you're crying. Your dad doesn't respect you anymore. All right now, Nick. It's what you've been waiting for. Eight delicious chicken thighs here on the butcher paper. You like the brown butcher paper, Nick? I've always been a fan. It's good, it reminds me of, uh, yeah, it's like old school. Very you know old mean? school, very, I totally know what you it's mean. It's very yeah. nostalgic. So what we're gonna do with these bad boys is just salt and pepper them. And then we're gonna put them face down in this skillet. We're gonna brown them. It's been a theme of Cook with Greggy, brown and chicken thighs. So we're gonna salt and pepper these baddies. I'm gonna put a lot on just because I want to make sure a lot sticks. But it's also one of those things that these guys are gonna be swimming in sauces and peppers and all sorts of stuff. I'm not too concerned about the salt and pepper content on them. You concerned, Nick? Nope. Good. You trust me here, Nick? 100%. Good. All right, so what we're gonna do here now is take Vita olive oil, the number one olive oil on Vita Island and for Shuhei Yoshida, and pour it all in here. Now, if you've seen other episodes of Cooking Greg, or maybe they've gone up or however the hell it's all worked out, you know that for a long time I struggled with any chicken thigh dish, or any chicken dish actually, that where I wanted to brown them in the cast iron. Because what I would do is drop them on in the cast iron, and then guess what would happen? The skin would stick, this would happen. Jen turned me on in more ways than one. But recently to a method of, if you oil the pan cold, with cold oil, or not cold oil, but room temperature oil, and then take the chicken cold, and put it in there like this, like so, and then heat it all together at once. So like basically, the pan's not already hot, the oil's not already hot, you're not just dropping chicken in there. We've been getting them not to stick and tear off. They actually do the, they actually go and do the damn thing we want to do, which is of course browning the skin and looking awesome. So we're hoping, praying to them chicken thigh gods, that'll happen again today. All right, so we moved the big old Bertha, big Bertha as I call this uh, cast iron skill, over here, chock full of this, and now we're gonna kick it on. Uh, Nope, that's the wrong one. Light this one up here. I'm gonna go medium high and leave it basically for 10 minutes. Uh, I've overpacked it, as you can see. Rachel's recipe calls for six minutes there, but earlier today we did a similar chicken recipe. I put it in there for 15, they browned real nice. I'm gonna go 10 and see what happens. While that happens, however, though, I'm gonna work a little bit on these uh, 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 chorizo. The chorizo here needs to, is cased, it needs to be uncased, it needs to be let loose, so we're gonna cut it right in front of this camera here. Nick, how do you feel about chorizo? Ooh. Hoo That's what I like to hear. Daddy likey, you know what now, I mean? Now, here's what, here's all the conversation with you, Nick. Yeah. Because you're my friend yeah. and my partner and everything else. Sure, why not? When I got this recipe, I was like, oh my, man, I love chorizo. I can't wait to do it. And then the recipe called for me to pull all the chorizo out of the casings mm -hmm. to have it loose. And I was like, I don't know about that. I like the, I like the chorizo slices, you know what I mean? However, then when I finished, did the finished product of it, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna go we're gonna flip them over. They're gonna cook a little bit longer. I'm talking about the chicken, of course. Uh, when that's done, or while that, when we pull them out, we're tossing this in there, breaking it up, browning it that way. So when you dip your bread in there, who doggy, you got good eating. So yeah, you can buy loose chorizo. Uh, my grocery store does not sell that though. So I buy the chorizo in casings and then just empty it out. If you get some casing in there, it's not a big deal. Oh, natural is what they call it, Nick. What are you laughing at? I don't think that's what they call it. They don't call it au natural, the no, casing? No, they... Huh. Come see, come saw, I guess, in that one, you know? Yeah, we'll agree to disagree. Yeah, okay. Look at that one, Nick. Ugh. It's like Game of Thrones. Ugh. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. While you were gone, the grease started popping, so I put on a little grease shield. Uh, I was starting to poke around. I decided I wanted to look with you, because of course, cooking is fun. You look right here, obviously heat distribution in my house is interesting. This guy, look at how good he looks, Nick. That's good, right? That's the kind, that's what you want. Can you see that? Nice. Yeah, right? But like the problem is he looks really good that way. Then you come off here on the side ones, right? Not there yet. So what I'm gonna do is j uh, juggle around, see who's hot, who's not, move them around. So you go over there, since you're done, you can go right in the center, good sir. What about you, young man? Eh, you're halfway there. Uh, first off, they're not sticking at all, so the Jean Vieux saint don method works uh, again. I love you very much, baby, changed my life, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna crank up the heat though, go a bit higher. Let them go, I'll keep an eye on them. Probably another five minutes or so. Don't panic, we'll be here. I think I might just start drinking this wine. Cannonball. 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 Red wine. All right, it's five minutes later. Um, their tanner 
they're not like dark. Some of them are dark and crispy. Like again, you're doing it for the gram. That one's the star of the show, Nick. You see him? That's the belt of the ball right there. That's the one. So what you do is you flip him here. That's another good looking one. Anybody who gets that center spot looks great. This guy's looking fine. If you want to let him go longer, feel free. Uh, but I'm gonna flip them all here. We're gonna let them go three minutes on this side before we pull them off all together. So three there. You know, now that I see them all together, I'm very happy with that. That coloration I got on all of them. Do you need me to angle it, Nick, or is it fine? It's fine. All right. I'm gonna leave the grease trap there so I don't die. Cause it's kicking, Nick. Oh. Get in the pops. It's done right. No can defend. No can defend, my friend. So now I'm gonna take all this chorizo that I had over here, I'm gonna break it up in my hands, crumble it up, and drop it in. Cause this is where this dish goes from, oh man, this is gonna be great to, man, this is gonna change your fucking life. Now I'm supposed to just, you do this till it's brown. You can already see how fast this is browning, Nick. You see it? Yep. You seeing this? Oh my God, do I love chorizo. See, this is where all of our prep work paid off, Nick. So now I just get to sit here, Read Rachel Way, Ray, but yep, and just do. Keep drinking that wine, son. We're going someplace together. Yeah, get on board. Get on board the booze train, the fire train. Are we going back to Brown Town, Nick? We are dead. We're in Brown Town, my friend. And it's crispy. Yeah, it's looking great, right? What did your wife say to me the other day? It's a fire train? Yeah, it's a fire train. It's a Canadian phrase. Make a lot of fire trains up there. I love it. I love it. I love her, Nick, you know? She's a great person. I don't you, know if you I did well. You. You, you lucked out, really. Yeah. Because, you know. Who would want to be around this all the time? Well, you got a lot of energy. This is our entire time. weekend, just uh, sitting here cooking weird food, you know? She got in on the action, though. She did. She did her piece. She cooked some mussels. She did. Some chicken. Yep. She, I mean, like, the biggest thing, honestly, is that, I mean, even, let's say tomorrow, it turns out she peels off, it peels off her face and it's just, she's a bitch. This was all a ruse to get American citizenship and get my money and yeah. get porty. Yeah. I'm okay with it because of the chicken. She taught me how to brown the chicken yeah. and not that have the skin sense. peel off. Makes sense. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a trade I'm willing to accept. Hot. I imagine you guys have had sex once or twice too. That is another, I mean that's the other, joke's on her. Right. You know what I mean? Like right. she did that multiple times. To be honest, if she put that work in, she deserves citizenship. That's a great point. Because I imagine Having sex with you is like dragging the carcass of a moose out of the uh, Alaskan wilderness. You know what I mean? Like it's just, there's a lot of exertion, smells, you might get crushed. Uh, you at any point might get attacked by wolves. Shit, well, Porty. Exactly. He thinks, it's, he thinks it's an attack. I think so far in the marriage, that's been the thing that's been the most interesting. You know what I mean? Is just watching Jen get worn down to the point that now she's like, all right, fine. And we just, we have sex while the dog's still in the bed. And you're just going at it and you look over and Porter's just staring at you. Or it's just a snout out from underneath the covers. Is it that hard to get him out of the room? Not a, well, you know how he is, he's dumb. He just doesn't listen. Right. Huh? The one time you did that, he We got him out of the room. Oh, I see. Before you go to bed, well, you, can say, you tell him to go to bed, sometimes they'll go to bed, but then like one time we kicked him out of the room, he's like, oh, I'll just pee. I'm like, fine, fuck, we'll fuck next to you from here on out. There you go, he wants to see it. And honestly, I think when we have children, it'll be the same methodology, till they're 13. So I'm ready to do it now, it's brown, I'm gonna do it, all right, you ready? Because now we're gonna move on. So the chorizo's done, great. We're gonna add the onions. It's a lot of onions, I'm making, meat. I'm gonna put that in there, ugh. And that in there, that's all I'm doing. I'm sorry, onions. I hate onions and I hate you. Uh, the pepper's going now. Great. Rosemary goes in now. See the colors, Nick? It's Italian. What? And then the garlic's in. So the tomato paste is three tablespoons. There it is. See right there? One. Two. And I do heaping. I'm not afraid. Three. Give me a little bit more. There we go. 
And then I'm just gonna end up throwing it away, so there you go, another one. <laughs> the whole can. <laughs> Pretty much just put whatever you want. I didn't, you know what, it, it's, impro it's improv. You can do whatever you want. It's getting more and more improv as that bottle of wine gets less and less full. You know what, man? It's, a, it's such a home run recipe, you can't go wrong with it, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab the wine finally. You ready, Nick? Yep. There it goes. It's angry. It's angry I put the wine in there. It's fighting. Now we're putting in the lemon zest next. Now imagine dipping bread in this, Nick. Coming up with some big chorizo pieces in there. You feel me, dog? Oh, God, yes. Here comes the chicken stock now. This is the greatest part about being Italian, is bread just goes with everything. Bread is the big, it's the alpha and the omega. You know what I mean? Yep. It's the, it's the beginning and the end. You finish everything with bread. You start and you finish with it, I hear you. You break it at the beginning of the meal. Now, what Rach says in the magazine, of course, is that the chicken stock is the one thing you get to be, you know, off, off the chain about. Like, how much, how saucy do you want it? You know what I mean? Do you want it really liquidy? Do you want it to have more pasty feel to it? That's what I'm monitoring right now. How are you feeling about this, Nick? I don't like it too saucy. Is it too saucy? I don't want right it to now? be a soup. I think it well, looks it's going to firm right up now. as it goes. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to reduce a little. A little bit. Yeah. yeah you're fine. Here, what you're I'll right. do is, you know what I'll do? We got all this tomato paste. We'll paste it back up for you. I don't know if that is how that works when they say paste. No, that's what it does. I don't think it's like wood glue. Hey, you watch. This is going to be pastier now. All right. All right. So now what I'm going to do? I'm killing the heat. I'm going to re-add the chicken. As I do it, I like to spoon it over. Give a little bit, you know? Give a little bath. Exactly. All right, so now this goes in there for 12 minutes. Ooh. Again, be careful with Big Bertha or any cast iron skillet. Let's put all these peppers in this thing. That's the garnish. That shit's gonna, that's gonna make the color pop like nobody's business. Alexa. Good sir. Set a timer for 12 minutes. Ooh, all right, so it's done. Nick, get ready. There it is. Look at this baby we've created. Are you ready for this, Nick? That was gorgeous. Now, of course, plating a big issue. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, big Birth is hot. Be careful about Big Birth, I would say. You want this here, you're right? You want something there so that if somebody just bumps into this thing, they're not immediately scalded for life. However, to begin with, or end with, I guess, you want to come over here, lemon juice this guy up. You hear me, Nick? Lemon juice. Is, you, ever, you ever use lemon juice, Nick? All the time. Good, do that. Then you come in, remember that parsley we chopped forever ago, Nick? I mean, it's like, you're, it's just getting better and better. It's a garlic leaf. It's cause it can't stop. It can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I like that, I like that. And I, I put some in there cause I just wanted the color of the green there too, you know? And then remember those hot peppers, or the sweet peppers. They're supposed to be hot, but I buy sweet. Come and do this. And you just get this, you, you got this delicious, you can already tell it's gonna be delicious, Nick. But now you get this pop of color or as I call it, Papa Color. As anybody who watches Cooking with Greg would know, would know, we talk all the time about presentation, plating, it's a big deal. This is how you want to plate this dish. You want bread, you want the chicken, you want them down on the table, because what you want to do is people come in and scoop these out. I know what you're saying, incredibly hot pan, they could die, and they could, but that, they're stupid if they do, so you gotta worry about that. They come in, they scoop out the chicken, and then they take the bread, they dip it in there, they get that chorizo, they get that sauce, they eat it that way. Of course, this is bread, jean vieux saint Ange made from scratch. It was gonna be part of this episode. Uh, last night we filmed how to make the bread because it has to rise overnight and stuff and she was really drunk. And then uh, it just turned out that it needs to be its own episode, it's gonna be a thing. So maybe on Patreon, you'll be able to find her drunk instructions eventually as an exclusive, as a bonus for your support. But for right now, no. You need bread, you need this. You can make a salad, you can do all the same stuff, but don't bother plating it. The guests themselves have to plate it. You want them coming by, scooping it, putting it down, dipping all this stuff and eating it and going, holy goddamn amazing God, holy God, I can't believe it's good. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been chicken thighs and chorizo. It is legitimately one of my favorite dishes uh, I do make on a regular basis. The reason being, of course, it is simple. It's a lot of steps, but it looks awesome. Like this is such a great presentation to put out for people when they come over. Uh, it pairs so well with bread. It's just a delicious dish that I really, really encourage you to take a shot at. If you don't have a giant cast iron Big Bertha, no big deal, use a smaller one, cut the recipe down, do whatever you gotta do. You gotta try this is what I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go over to Patreon. I want you to watch Jed be drunk. 
I want you to support us wherever you can. I want you to subscribe. I want you to Instagram me. Go over there. Hashtag Cooking with Greggy. Show me what you're working on in the comments of this video. Let me know what else I should make. Let me know your recipes. Be good cooking friends. And know that until next time, it's been my pleasure to serve you.